Ikea is one of those stores that you cannot leave without spending at least $200. No matter what you went there for, even if it was just for one of those big blue bags, you've somehow spent $200 and it is absolutely ridiculous. So in today's video, I'm gonna save you a little bit of money and I'm going to share 10 Ikea furniture pieces that are worth every penny. Hopefully on your next trip to Ikea, you're just going to be picking up one of these pieces and they are super high quality. They look super sophisticated and they're going to last you for years to come. Let's start chatting about them. So I decided to make today's video because Ikea is one of the stores we talk about a lot for like little decorative accents and lighting, but what about those bigger pieces? Ikea has tons of furniture and I wanted to let you know what you should be buying and what they have that is affordable because they have a lot of pieces that are some big ticket items, 500, 600, $700. What happened to $99.99 people? Well, that's not how much we're spending. We're keeping it $100 and less, and we've got some great options. So let's just get started. The first furniture item, under $100 from Ikea that you will love is this mom under bed storage container. So in the queen king size, it's actually $95 for two. And if you don't know what these are, these are actually under bed wooden, or excuse me, particle board or fiber board um, containers that roll under your bed and they actually hold your clothes or whatever it is you wanna store under there. And these are so useful and they can work for any bed. They don't just work for the Ikea mom beds, whatever bed you have that has a lot of wasted space under there, let's use it for storage, right? It doesn't need to be a place where dust bunny, bunnies like get together to hang out, right? That's not a chic look. It's not a place where like your dog needs to go take all of your things that it has stolen from you, right? It can be a place where you store all of those things that are ending up on your floor get these storage containers and put that space to use. They are super affordable. They're $95 for the two of them in the queen and the king, and you can get them even more affordably if you have a smaller bed. I love them. I know people who have had these exact storage containers for over five years. They're made super well. They're very high quality. I had them growing up, and if I had a bed that had underbed storage now, I'd still be using the exact same ones. These are worth every penny. Next, we have this laptop stand that is $40. So this laptop stand comes in both black and white and it's very basic. You could call it a C or an L side table because that's what it is. The legs of the table, side table or the leg of the side table actually can fit underneath a chair or a sofa so that it isn't taking up unnecessary floor space, which is fantastic if we're working in a small space. So already that is a reason why we should be picking up this side table, especially for that price. Now, they have these more affordable elsewhere, right? They actually sell these at five below. So why do we get this one and not the one from five below? One, this one is made out of metal and glass. It's not made out of fiberboard or anything like that. So you don't have to worry about it breaking. Two, you can actually really customize it. So since there is glass, you can actually use contact paper or peel and stick wallpaper to customize the glass. If you wanna make it look like cement or concrete or something really vibrant, you can do that. You can have fun with this side table. This is also great because a lot of us have turned our living rooms into our offices, right? And sometimes you just wanna keep working while you're watching the new season of Only Murders in the Building. Are you guys watching that? Be sure to let me know down in the comments. Um, I love that show and babe doesn't wanna watch it with me anymore. But you wanna be able to work and uh, watch TV at the same time. You wanna be able to eat and watch TV at the same time and this side table allows you to do that in a non-bulky way. It's not taking up floor space, it's protecting your furniture and is really chic and low profile. So for $40, you really just can't pass up on this fantastic Ikea product. Of course, I have to talk about another mom product but it is for good reason. We're talking about the mom three drawer dresser, which is $100, but it is only $100 if you're getting the white. So if you want the black or the wood tone, I'm sorry, out of luck, you're going to have to pay a little bit more. They're all under $200 though, but they're not $100. But I love this because yes, it is a dresser, but it can work as a nightstand. Go to your local hardware store and get some attachable legs and put some legs on it. You can get a Studio McGee style nightstand or an anthropology style nightstand just by hacking this a little bit. You can also use two of these with a countertop to create an extra long um, industrial um, desk, or you can make an extra long desk for your kids or for you and your partner if you're sharing an office. You can really use this to hack just about anything and there's tons of storage in them. And this is probably one of the most durable dressers on the market and I'm comparing that to some of the dressers that are upwards of $2,000 and the beauty of this is you can go pick it up. 
The one downfall of this dresser though is it is an absolute pain to put together but the price tag you can't beat it and if you are a whiz with primer and chalk paint you can paint it and make it any color you want to. It is a bit of a pain but if you have some patience you only have that $100 price tag it may be worth it. Now I'm absolutely obsessed with the shelving unit and it is only $70. And I actually first used the shelving unit in our dresser. Now I first actually used the shelving unit in our closets because we needed some closet space. And I'll be honest, it is not the best closet solution, but I think this is great for a library or a living room. Now, what do you do with this? It looks kind of basic. Well, you get some spray paint. You can spray paint the actual brackets, right? So gold, stainless steel, whatever color you want, bright pink, it doesn't matter paint in a color that works with the rest of your home. And then you can also spray the shelves. You can cover them with wallpaper. I'm kind of saying the same things over and over again because a lot of this furniture is very basic and therefore very customizable. And you can turn this into an entire wall of open shelving. I would probably configure the shelving to create an entire wall of shelving around my television unit and have all of my books and my vases taking up an entire wall, some layered art, and just make it look really nice and sophisticated like one of those shelves you might get from West Elm for upwards of $3,000. But you can do this from Ikea for $70 and again, of course, you need more to do this, but it's still cheaper than what you would get from a mainstream designer store. Um, also, it's very durable. You just put it into your studs and you are good to go and nothing is falling and you can really mix and match this. The shelves are adjustable. So if you are really needing some more storage in your laundry room and your pantry, this is a great way to get that. Now, I'm not sure if picture ledges are considered furniture, but I'm deciding that they are. So, you know, we're just going to go with that. But I'm talking about this picture ledge, which is $18. It does come in two sizes. So the larger size is $18. Um, or $18.99, but you can get the smaller size for four fewer dollars. It comes in a myriad of colors, white, black, gray, but I think this is fantastic for displaying books. A lot of us don't know where to put our books. We're like, oh, I don't have a bookshelf anymore. I don't know, bookshelves just for some reason are out of fashion. I'm not really sure why, because I think a lot of the times they get dedicated to things other than books. So, Use your books as decor, put them on display. You want to display them well, use a picture lead. Picture ledges are also great for displaying pictures because let's face it, everybody has like that nightstand and like their mom's house or their grandma's house that is just covered in pictures and you're like, but where am I gonna put my like water? There's no place for me to put my cup down because there are all of these dusty pictures. Well, that is not a problem anymore because the pictures will still be on display, but you can still use the nightstand, right? Everyone gets to be happy, grandma and you, right? Woohoo, we love that for us. These picture ledgers just look really sophisticated. You're seeing them everywhere now. You can use these for really big books, for small books, for pictures, for pieces of art, for prints, whatever it is you want. And you can put really narrow um, vases and stuff like that on there too. They are very shallow, so do keep that in mind. But I think this is a great way to get things up on the wall without putting a lot of nails in the wall because you only have to put the nails in for the ledges as opposed to for every single painting or something like that. Now, this armrest is a really good follow-up to that side table we talked about. So this armrest is $20 and it comes in both black and a natural color. And this is pretty much an armrest that you can put on the side of your chair if it has a nice track arm or a square arm or a couch and it acts as a rest or kind of like a tray. It really is a tray. It is a di designer tray and it is a nice tray that looks super high end. It's very on trend just with like uh, the detailing that they chose there. And you can put your drinks on there. You can put a coaster on there. You can put a plate on there. Basically you turn your couch arm into your plate, which is what it was already. Um, but a plate without having to fight with your wife about how you stained it, right? So we can save our marriage today and we can still eat at the sofa. So what is better than that? I just really love that they have the black Black and natural, which is really on trend for the modern organic and the Scandinavian and the Japan D. So you don't have to have a tray that doesn't work with your design style because don't we all remember those like fold up trays we used to all eat on with like our TV dinners and they were just like absolutely horrendous, but like they got the job done. So like, let's bring them back. But now we have these from Ikea and they are super affordable. So try these out. You could also use these for a DIY. If you're like Kiva, this is not worth it to me as a piece of furniture, but these are really chic. You could use this paneling to create like a DIY headboard or a piece of art. I really love them. You can't beat the price. Um, and they look just like pull wrap. Next we 
have this ottoman which is $80 so I actually really don't like I I hate I was gonna try and be nice about it I despise the associated chair um, in this collection but I really do like this ottoman because ottomans are a great way to introduce additional seating into a sitting area or a living room without messing up like the sight line because you know chairs with high backs they mess up the sight line and they create too much visual clutter but since ottomans are really low profile they don't contribute to that issue so I really like these they have a nice slant on them. So will you have like, will you be the most stable? No, but I mean, it'll give you an opportunity to work on your posture, right? So again, when the queen comes over, you will be prepared. So you'll say, thank you, Ikea. And Ikea will say, you're welcome. But I really like these. I like the anthracite. I like the normal gray. I like the black. I like the tan. They again, work for the design styles that are trending right now. And it's Ikea. So you know, the cushions are really easy to take off. So you can really just reupholster this like, Near every Ikea, there is a Joanne. I don't know, I just every Ikea I've ever been to, there is a Joanne nearby. So go to the local Joanne, reupholster the cushion and whatever you want to, and then you can customize it. Also, you can sand down the wood as well. Ikea furniture is super customizable. I'm sorry, I know you're not a DIYer. If you're not a DIYer, that's fine. You don't have to do it, but it's, it's easy to do. So just go ahead and do it. You can make this work with whatever your design style is, but I think it's a great way to add some oomph to your living area super affordably. Now, this plant stand is super chic. It's $25 and it does accommodate three plants. So, that's great, right? You might need to get multiple if you have more than three plants, which most plant owners do. But if you're a beginner like me, um, this plant stand is fantastic. It has three different tiers. It is metal and it does fold up. I think this would be a great way to divide a room in a non-traditional way, right? Because room dividers, they can be really costly and they take up a lot of space. And we don't need a huge room divider. We just need something, again, to break up what we're seeing visually just a little bit, just a little bit, right? We're not trying to erect a whole new wall. So a plant stand is a great way to do that if we have some tall plants. So this plant stand is great. If you don't like the way it looks, again, take a nice can of spray paint to it and you will be good to go. But don't forget that you don't have to use this for plants. You can use this to display sculptures if you want to. Look at the weight limit on it. I'm sure that's online because it does. it is for plants and plants can get heavy. So just look at the weight limit on it and that should be sufficient for you to like move forward with your sculptures or whatever it is you want to do with it. Um, but I might do... Um, three or four of these kind of together to again make that makeshift room divider and in a progression i think that'd be super fun for years ikea has been my go-to place for desks and if you don't go to ikea for a desk what are you doing why are you spending so much money so this desk is actually 60 dollars, and it's one of the newer additions to ikea so if this is your first time hearing about it here we go so it is 60 dollars. it is 48 inches wide and it is super lightweight what I love about this one in particular is that it is green with black legs um, and it just kind of fits in the corner, right? Uh, a lot of us are working in our dining rooms, in our living rooms, in our bedrooms. The main focus of those rooms is not to be an office, right? So we want our desks to kind of just like blend into the background. So this desk just is just like that. It's just a tabletop, right? It gets the job done. It's not too busy, right? We can do some really seamless cord management and kind of keep it moving. It's really nice and basic and you're not going to break the bank on it. And when it's time to move, it's really easy to disassemble because I will say the desks are probably the most difficult thing to disassemble when it's time to move. And sometimes I'm like, just throw the whole thing away, just throw everything away. I don't do that, but that's how I feel. So I really do love this desk. They also have a lot of other desks that are really, really, really top notch. I can't make phenomenal desks. I'm saying the same thing over again, but I love this one because it does come in light green, but it also comes in white, black, and gray. Um, and I think some other colors as well, but this is a great one. Last but certainly not least, I wanna talk about this nightstand that is $90. So this nightstand actually looks like this other nightstand right out of Pottery Barn or West Ham. I'm not sure the companies are affiliated. So it's pretty much the same thing. I'm not sure if they sell it anymore, but if they do, I'll put it up on the screen right here. But this looks super high end. You got the metal, you got the wood, right? You got the metal look. It looks super industrial, Scandi, industrial, modern, contemporary. It's just really nice and basic, right? You can throw a nice basket underneath to like make it feel a little bit more cozy, a little bit more homey. And that's it. Your nightstand doesn't really have to be that sophisticated, right? Most of us don't really use our nightstands. And if we do, we're using them for storage. Any nightstand can fit your nighttime, you know, like Aleve or Advil, right? It doesn't need to be sophisticated. It's mostly about what you put on top. So save money on that nightstand. This one is super durable. I know because I had it in college and I bumped it all up against anything and it 
it's still standing. I gave it away, but it, it, it was still standing when I gave it away. And when I saw it in someone's Facebook pictures, it was still standing. So it's still standing. And I think that that's pretty exciting, but this product is super durable and I think it looks super chic. And I think it looks more than $90. It just looks way more than $90. And if something looks more than $90, it's only $90 and it's relatively easy to put together. What is better than that? Okay, you guys, that's it for today's video. Those were 10 furniture pieces from Ikea that are worth every penny, but are under $100. Hopefully I introduce you to some furniture pieces you've never heard of from Ikea, but they are the hidden gems. They're super high quality, but also fairly affordable. If you liked today's video, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video and check me out on Instagram. And until next time, have a beautiful day.